located at the foothills of Mount Makiling Los Baños Laguna is the Forest Products Research and Development Institute or FPRDI, an agency under the Department of Science and Technology or DOST. For almost 60 years now, FPRDI has been committed to finding and improving the uses of wood and non-wood products harvested from the Philippine forests and plantations. During the golden era of Philippine forestry in the 1960s through the mid-1970s, FPRDI's remarkable support to the large wood-based industries made it one of Asia's leading forestry research organizations. These industries included the country's top exporting sectors then, logs, lumber, pulp and paper, and veneer and plywood. In fact, FPRDI was the first agency to establish a pulp and paper research and training center in Southeast Asia. But the rapid destruction of the country's natural forest from the mid-1970s through the 1990s prompted FPRDI to refocus its research thrusts on industrial tree plantation species and non-wood forest products to expand the Philippines' raw materials for the forest-based industries. The main users of these resources, the furniture, handicraft and builders woodwork makers remain among our country's major export earners. The new raw materials come from lesser used tree species such as Tuog and Binwang. Industrial tree plantation species examples of which are Gemelina and Mahogany. Non-wood resources like bamboo, rattan, coconut, vines and bast fibers, plus a wide range of native plants and agricultural wastes which are valued sources of fiber, resins, essential oils and incense, fuel, flavorings, shelter, furnishings, ornaments, and natural chemical products such as dyes, adhesives, finishes and preservatives. Helping the forest-based industries means continuously finding ways to maximize usage of these alternative raw materials and processing them into high-value added products. Today, FPRDI is an ISO accredited organization committed to its mandates of conducting research and development on wood and non-wood forest and related products, transferring technologies, and providing technical services and training on the processing and utilization of forest-based raw materials. To attain its vision of being a center of excellence in its field, FPRDI has put in place two technical divisions the Materials Science Division, or MSD, and the Technology Innovation Division, or TID, with support from the Technical Services Division, or TSD, the Planning Staff, and the Finance and Administrative Division. MSD studies the inherent properties of wood and non-wood forest products, their anatomy, and botanical classification, their physical, mechanical, and chemical properties, their durability against wood-destroying pests such as termites and fungi, and their structural properties or how suitable they are as affordable and eco-friendly construction materials. On the other hand, TID aims to find ways to improve the inherent properties of wood and non-wood materials and convert them into higher value products using mechanical, thermal, and chemical processing. Mechanical processing includes sawmilling, drying, and machining. 
Chemical processing covers preservation and application of dyes and finishes. FPRDI also studies how to improve composites or panel products and how to generate solid, liquid, and gaseous fuels from agroforest wastes. To assist its clients compete better in the local and global markets, FPRDI likewise operates testing laboratories for furniture, pulp and paper, and plywood. The pulp and paper, veneer and plywood, and furniture testing labs are accredited under ISO 17025-2005. The physics and mechanics, chemistry and structural testing labs will also pursue accreditation by ISO. These testing services aim to assure its clients that their products meet international standards. To make sure that the fruits of its labor reach the forest-based communities and industries, FPRDI relies on its extension arm, the Technical Services Division, or TSD. TSD assesses the impact of FPRDI installed technologies on the adopters and other beneficiaries, facilitates, monitors, and evaluates the technical and financial assistance packages given to clients including manpower training, establishes the financial and market viability of FPRDI technologies, helps researchers protect their intellectual properties, and packages FPRDI information for varied client groups. Indeed, since its founding in 1957, FPRDI has helped write one success story after another among many beneficiaries of its technical assistance. The Dumalinao, Zamboanga del Sur based wood tech builders, is among the latest adopters of FPRDI's furnace type lumber dryer or FTLD. It first acquired a 25,000 board foot capacity FTLD in 2010, followed by a 40,000 board feet capacity unit in 2013 to meet the market demand for cone dried wood products in Cebu and Zamboanga. Soon to be built is another dryer to complement the first two. Today, 90% of the solid panel doors moldings, lumber, and other KD wood products produced by its factory are shipped to Cebu, which used to be the company's source of the same products pre-FTLD. Woodtech Builders has evolved into a multi-million enterprise with an annual gross sales of 13 million pesos. The wooden pallet industry can benefit from the Institute's Furnace Type Heat Treatment Facility or FHTF. This can provide the heat needed to kill insects and other pests infesting wood packaging materials or WPMs such as wooden pallets. WPMs made of unprocessed wood are vulnerable to pest attacks and can introduce and spread pests from one country to another. Compared with methyl bromide or MB fumigation, heat treatment using the FHTF is an ecologically safe way of obtaining the International Plant Protection Convention marks for WPMs. Heat treatment time is five hours, which will only cost six pesos and 68 centavos per pallet using a 10,000 board foot capacity FHTF or 46% cheaper than MB fumigation. <music> Meanwhile, the Ilocos Norte Electric Cooperative or INEC 
relies on FBRDI's High Pressure Sap Displacement or HPSD method to treat their poles on site. HPSD has shortened the waiting period for the poles, thus facilitating connection to the power grid in the province. With the available electricity, all barangays in Ilocos Norte now enjoy economic development and improved quality of life. The HPSD has also generated for INEC at least 22 million pesos in savings for pole treatment. In the next five years, FBRDI will focus on the following goals. To develop more efficient cone dryers. To find ways to maximize the use of every part of the bamboo. To process natural rubber exudates and old rubber trees into high value products. To find more profitable ways of using industrial tree plantation species. To optimize the use of abaca fiber for paper and other high-end products and to help reduce poverty among the forest-based communities and industry workers. As FPRDI moves towards its 60th year, the hurdles confronting the Institute and its clients are many and daunting. The local forest industries are bogged down by fluctuating global economies in addition to the usual concerns limited supply of raw materials and tough competition from neighboring Asian countries. The men and women of FPRDI, however, choose to see these problems as opportunities for growth. All the setbacks notwithstanding, the Philippines remains one of the most biodiverse countries in the world in terms of non-wood forest products. Filipino craftsmen continue to shine worldwide for their creativity, innovativeness, and skilled workmanship. These, plus other indicators, tell us that the forest-based industries remain viable and still have a lot of room to grow. And for as long as they need us, we at FPRDI, with the help of our friends, are committed to bringing viable solutions to our clients in the forest-based industries, communities, and the public. <laughs>